Hey everyone, this is ASMR Zeitgeist. Do you like my shirt? It shows the one and only godfather of ASMR, Bob Ross. Though his series, The Joy of Painting, is quite a few years old now, and sadly the artist isn't with us anymore, Everyone I know, including me, like watching him, and he never fails to relax his audience. Now join me while I draw him as this cartoon character. If you like this illustration, there's a link in the description and you can get it for free. Alright, let's get started. First, I'm gonna draw a simple shape for his head. So I draw a circle. And then I draw something like an oval or an egg that overlaps the circle like this. erase this line right here and that one and I draw a line here that splits the shape it's something like a peanut shape at the moment and this line helps me to place the eyes correctly <laughs> wipe the dirt away I draw two simple areas for the ears, here and here. Here we are. And now I do another circle. And this one should indicate his afro, like this. Now I'm roughly outlining the body. I do another simple shape here. Okay. I guess I make the body a little bit tinier. After all, it's a cartoon version of Bob and I think it has to be smaller to look funnier. So, like this. This is better. Now I'm drawing the right arm, roughly outlining it. like this and his right hand so and he holds a brush in it of course Is the left arm in which he holds a color palette and the thumb that goes through the whole of the palette right here So that's the basic shape. Now I do some more details. Bob had um, quite small and friendly button eyes. 
smaller I guess with some crow feet in the corner or smile lines I should say and the other one and then I draw a circle and a smaller circle within that indicates the highlight in his eyes and the other one the highlight now I fill the upper half of the outer circle and that gives it more dimension his eyebrows were thinner in the inside <laughs> and thicker at the outside I'm looking at a photo by the way broad nose so I'm drawing a curve here with two hooks on the sides for his nostrils this little line is the bridge of the nose and some smile lines again the nasal labial file folds I guess <laughs> good and now um, for the mouth I draw a curved line here from the corner it goes down then goes up then down and up again like this once we have the uh, top lip I draw the bottom lip right here And for his teeth, I draw a simple curve between his lips, like this. Good. I erase a little from his nose and make them a bit shorter. So that his mouth has more room. Good. I don't believe in happy little accidents, I believe in the eraser. <laughs> but I do believe in happy accidents though. So, now he needs his late 70s full beard, so I draw some lines here and here. Oh, I forgot his bottom lip right here. Here's another line of his beard and here. Now um, the beard elongates his face, especially in the chin area, so I draw it longer. He wore his beard longer on the chin and shorter on the sides, like this. I guess his beard would be uh, quite stylish again nowadays. <laughs> so, I draw two more lines here and there. Good. Now 
to the afro. I draw some tiny little curves to outline his curls like this. And one more and one more. And another curl, another curve. Let's draw his fringe right here, or his bangs, or whatever you prefer. <laughs> and the afro overlaps his ears, the upper half, like this. So I refine the lower half and do this. How do you call them? Folds in the ears. Good. I erase these lines and that one. All right. So I just zoomed in a little, I think it's nicer this way, isn't it? So now I'm going to refine the lines of his body. I start with the collar of his uh, shirt. He always wore a light blue shirt in almost every episode I saw. Someone's listening to music. <laughs> Did you hear that? All right. Here's the button border in the middle. With some folds here and there. And now the sleeves of his shirt. He always had them rolled up like this. Good. Now I'm refining his hand. You don't see much of his hand. Most of it is covered by uh, the brush. Two fingers are covered by the brush. They would be here. Maybe you see a tiny little bit of them here and here. Drawing hands is one of the bigger challenges in learning how to draw. For most people, I guess. So, the brush looks a little bit odd. I think I'm going to elaborate that now. I don't like the brush, I have to erase this. Good. Now, from the scratch, another brush. A little bit smaller. Like this. Good. That's better. Here's an indication for his pants. Now I'm going to refine the color palette. This 
thumb. And some blobs of color here and there. Maybe one is dripping down the palette. Good. And another blob over here. Yes, I like that. Some more erasing. some refining with the eraser here and there. Delete this line, delete it, <laughs> erase it. I just didn't notice that my camera was going off, so I'm so sorry if you missed something. So I was um, refining the lines with a black uh, point ball pen and um, I'm now going to do his afro again and draw some curves. I vary the lines in thickness. So I go over some areas more often. And in some parts where I get quite bold and strong, I outline the area and then I fill it in, like here, under the jaw. and the folds I use the word folds a lot in this tutorial <laughs> some more little details to make it more interesting. Good. Now I draw his curls all the way around his afro. And I'm tired of drawing curls. Now I, curls. <laughs> I'm tired of drawing curls. Now I do his browse instead.
Let me take a sip of my green tea. That's better. Starting to dry out. Just roll it up sleeve again. Do you like drawing yourself? Or do you draw at all? Let me know in the comments. thought if I do this as a motive for a t-shirt, it has to be combined with one of his famous quotes. So I looked up his quotes and found some really good ones. Um, and the one that made me smile the most was, um, ever make mistakes in life? Let's make them birds. Yeah, they're birds now. I just love that. He had some phrases that he used over and over again, like, uh, let's get a little crazy. Or, of course, um, let's build a happy little tree or a happy little cloud. <laughs> Everyone knows that, I guess. But I go with his most famous quote which is, um, you don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. <laughs> because it has to be short for a shirt. Short for a shirt. <laughs> Good. So after most of the inking is done, I'll thicken the outlines of the whole character. That gives it a little bit more dimension. And I just like the look of it. Thickening here and there. I fill in this small area completely. I just could have used a thicker pen, I guess, but, you know. <laughs> Thickening here. And this line.
Now the brush again. Thickening the line around his hand. And the last line around the palette. Almost done. So we're almost there. Almost ready. Now what's left to do is to erase the lines of the pencil. So I grab my eraser and rub all over it. Rubbing everywhere. This is always the messy part. Let's wipe the dirt away. And all that is left are these refined black lines. Now I'm going to scan this into my computer and vectorize the artwork. Maybe I'll do some refining here and there. And finally, when the quote is added, I upload this at Spreadshirt. Thanks for joining me. I hope you had some fun watching this and that it gave you some relaxation. If you like it, let me know and I'll do some more drawing stuff like this in the future. So goodbye, or say it with Bob's words, happy painting, and God bless, my friend.